Hi, I'm Randy Reed, editor of the Edison Report, and we are here at Conversation Corner at NY Control 2025. I'm joined by Shana Longo of the Grand. Shana, welcome. Thank you. Tell our audience a little bit about the Wattstopper i3 platform. Sure. The Wattstopper i3 platform is a new offering from Wattstopper Legrand. It is a integrated smart building platform that allows us to access the inherently valuable data from the lighting control system. So we take a networked lighting control system. We offer two versions of that, the Wattstopper Plus line and the Wattstopper DLM line. And there's data that's built into all of our sensors, our room controllers, and that data can really help facility managers, building owners, administrators understand understand what the lighting control system is doing and also how to optimize it. Okay, so you're displaying that product here? We are. It's in our booth. Um, I'll also be talking about it in the session um, here at one o'clock around how the the link between the smart lighting data that comes out of the system and how that ties into evolving beyond energy code. It's interesting. You know, I know the Wattstopper brand from many years ago. I'll show my age with Jerry Mix. Tell me about I3. Where does that name come from? What's it mean? So I3 stands for Interoperability Insights and Intelligence. And those are the three core components of what this software Say program is doing. Interoperability, insights, and intelligence. Got it. Okay. And so each of those components is, we're pulling that data already from the network lighting control system, but we're using the software technology along with some AI to really bring to light greater intelligence sources, deeper insights, and then tying it into other building systems to truly be interoperable. Okay, and Shana, is the product available now? It is, it was launched in April of this year. So Shana, tell us a little bit about the functionality of the i3. How, how does it get installed? How does it get designed? Sure. So the, the way the platform works is it's BACnet and cloud-based. So we take the BACnet data points, we port them up to a cloud, and then the software program itself internalizes and digests that data so then we can develop visualizations, we can pull reports from it, and we can actually manage schedules, controls, all the things directly in the platform. So on the oper interoperability side, it actually can tie into other lighting network lighting control systems as well. Um, so you can not always have to retrofit fit an entire building with one system, but you can use legacy systems and have new systems speak to that data additionally. And it's really uh, impactful for those facilities that are looking to maybe upgrade only portions of the building at a time, right. but still get that granular data look at everything okay. all the systems are doing across the facility. Okay. Well, it sounds interesting. Is it available now on the market? It is. It was launched in April of this year. Okay. Well, Shana, thank you so much. It was great talking with you. It was great talking to you too.